Good evening, everyone. I think everyone should slowly start making their way into the meeting. I'm not sure if you can see me or if you can just see the big neighborhood meeting uh, kind of presentation that we have up right now. As we slowly await everyone else uh, coming into the meeting, we're going to go through a couple of uh, the overview of what you can expect tonight. So we'll just sit tight for now and give everyone a couple minutes here. Well, maybe not a couple, a few. Because I know uh, tonight we do have quite a few people registered, and I'm seeing 14 uh, attendees so far in here, so we'll give everyone a little bit more time. Well, I think I see we're up to 20 attendees now, so we're we're very close. All right, we are going to go ahead uh, and get started, and then I'm sure uh, everyone else will join in by the time we get to the applicant's presentation. So good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's neighborhood meeting uh, for 461 to 473 Young Street. Uh, we're going to do a quick meeting overview. So this is kind of what you can expect tonight. We're going to do a quick welcome, um, some staff applicant and uh, ward counselor introductions. Uh, we're going to go over the purpose of the neighborhood meeting and what to expect and what not to expect. Uh, then we're going to get to the applicant's presentation, which I'm sure everyone is awaiting on. And then we're going to have a question and answer period. And that question and answer period will not be recorded. However, um, any comments or concerns provided uh, by everyone here in attendance will be recorded by the city and the applicant and will have to be addressed uh, through the applicant's formal proposal to the city. And uh, that will also have another opportunity later on in the process to provide additional uh, comments based on that. So just having a look at our participants list here. So uh, we're still sitting at the same number, so let's continue. Uh, so what you can expect tonight is a presentation from the applicant's representative describing the proposal, a brief overview of the city's review process and timing, an opportunity to ask questions of either the applicant or city staff, and an opportunity to provide comments or identify concerns that you might have with the proposal. What not to expect tonight. You will not be receiving a city staff recommendation on the proposal, and you will not uh, have city staff providing a detailed analysis of the proposal or giving a rationale for any zoning uh, requested. There will also not be a debate on the merits of the proposal between city staff, the applicant, or their representative. Tonight is purely uh, informational and a chance for the immediate neighborhood to understand uh, what will be proposed. So following the neighborhood meeting, the applicant must address all comments received tonight. And those comments can come verbally uh, tonight or you can also send them in by email um, and feel free to do both. Um, once the formal uh, submission is made for review, a statutory public meeting will then be scheduled um, at affordability commi uh, committee for the additional public input. So there will be an additional opportunity after tonight to provide your comments directly to the affordability committee, who ultimately uh, will be council who makes a decision on the application. And following that uh, public meeting and technical review process, that's when that recommendation report will be brought forward for council's consideration. So um, tonight we have a presentation uh, from Daphne from Innovative Planning Solutions and the application for a proposed zoning bylaw amendment from the current res residential single detached dwelling first density zone to a mixed use corridor uh, with special provisions zone. The current proposal requires special provisions for deficient rear yard setbacks, landscape buffers, reduced commercial ground floor parking coverage and reduced residential and commercial parking totals. The proposed zoning bylaw amendment would facilitate a six story mixed use building with 232 residential units um, 
And that's it, at least for my portion of the presentation. So I'm going to end the slideshow now. Um, and you guys should hopefully uh, be able to, let me just get my, my screen all adjusted here. Oh, uh, let's turn this off. So we'll stop the video for a sec. And where are my own? My technical team, are you able to get my uh, screen to sh stop sharing here? You're not um, sharing. Oh, I'm not sharing anymore? Lovely. Okay. Lovely, lovely. All right. So, um, oh, good. Uh, my technical team, sorry, can you just um, ensure that uh, Councillor Jim Harris is using the correct link? I'm not sure if he is in here, but I am seeing um, a pop-up for uh, a, a different meeting. So I just want to ensure that he's here before we get to the presentation. Sorry, everybody, just a slight little delay because I think uh, he should be in attendance tonight. Okay, yes, he just sent me an email. So, Olga, if we could, uh, technical team, if we could send him the invitation. And then I see, uh, uh, Greg, you've uh, posted a question in the chat. Uh, you were able to provide both comments and ask questions tonight. All right. Well, I we've sent Councillor Jim Harris a link, so I'm sure he will be joining us soon, and he should be in here uh, by the time... Uh, the presentation is finished because we definitely want them in here to be able to hear uh, the comments and questions that uh, everyone will be providing. So um, he's going to uh, get in uh, here very soon, but the show must go on. So um, with that being said, um, we are going to then turn over uh, to the applicant uh, for their presentation. So uh, Daphne, if you don't mind sharing your screen and presenting uh, the proposal to the community. Yes, give me one sec here. Okay, just want to clarify, everyone can see the presentation? But yes. Without without the notes, hopefully? Um, you've got your, the notes are up. Oh, okay. Interesting. Worked before. How about now? Yep, you're good now. Okay, thank you so much. Sorry, I uh, had to figure out how to do this in Zoom. Um, so good evening. I wanna thank everyone for coming out tonight uh, to this neighborhood meeting. My name's Daphne Goxon. I'm with Innovative Planning Solutions and we're the planners on this file. I also have Ray Booty Warman with me from, uh, who's also from IPS and uh, he'll be taking notes uh, of everything that's said tonight. So um, make sure you're aware that 
you say is recorded and, and we will definitely be uh, taking, taking it all into account. Um, so I'm here tonight representing the Midnight Group who are the applicants on this file. We do also have some representatives from the Midnight Group that are listening in as well to your comments and questions and will be taking their own notes as well. So lots of people uh, listening to everything that's said tonight. Um, and as Tyler mentioned, I just want to clarify again, we are in a very preliminary part of the process. Uh, we don't have final uh, plans, studies, and reports. Uh, the plans that were posted online and that are Part of this presentation are not the final plans. They were ones we prepared for pre-consultation review only, um, and they're actually already undergoing some changes um, and, and we're expecting more changes as well. So I uh, just wanted to make sure that that is clear for everyone today. And we are preparing for our first submission to the city. Um, so these are the, the properties that are part of the, the project that we're presenting tonight. Um, so the addresses are 461, 463, 465, 467, 471, and 473 Young Street, which are the first six houses north of McMillan Crescent. Um, and they're all currently single family detached homes. Here's um, just a, a site context, just to, uh, I'm sure you're all very familiar with this corridor, but just to put things into context here, um, the red box is the subject site, um, and the blue boxes represent sites in the area that have already been approved for the zoning that we're requesting, the MU2 zone. Um, so this really is in keeping with what has been happening uh, along the Young Street corridor. The existing single family homes along the street um, are slowly being uh, you know, proposed for redevelopment and um, the density that we're proposing is very similar to what has already been approved. Uh, this is a slide just showing the existing uh, official plan and zoning. So the official plan is a uh, neighborhood area and the zoning currently is R1, which allows for the single family detached homes that are existing on the site. Uh, the official plan actually allows up to a six story building uh, since Young Street is an arterial road and an intensification corridor. Um, and as you can see along Young Street, the surrounding properties, even, even the ones in the rear, are all a higher density than what these properties are. Um, and the, the draft zoning bylaw that was recently published by the city is proposing uh, an upzoning on this site of, uh, to the neighborhood intensification zone, which would also allow up to six stories uh, similar to the official plan. So really these sites are... Uh, you know, they're under zoned for, for this area and for the context of this site. So just to give some context on who the applicants are, Midnight Building Group, uh, they, they started primarily in the GTA. Uh, they started out doing uh, single family home, uh, custom home development, uh, but they're expanding what they're, what they're providing. Uh, they now have a wide variety of buildings, including some small apartment projects, um, and they actually currently oversee over 150 rental units. Um, and although that they have, uh, you know, they, they've mostly worked in the GTA, two of the partners in the firm have deep family connections to Simcoe County, so they're very excited to come up to this area and to, to be working in this uh, community. Uh, they really are committed to working with the local community. They're involved in hosting and sponsoring local events and supporting local businesses. Um, and there are, there are several representatives on the call here today. Uh, they, they're really committed. They keep asking, you know, how they can continue to support the community. So uh, hopefully they'll be great partners in this neighborhood. Um, so here's the, the development concept plan that I'm sure uh, many of you have seen uh, that was posted online. Again, as mentioned, these were preliminary plans that we prepared for a pre-consultation review, and we're already um, preparing some updated, more detailed plans uh, based on feedback that we heard from the city during our pre-consultation submission. Um, but the general proposal is for this six-story U-shaped uh, building, which will be purpose-built apartment uh, rental building. Uh, the ground floor is proposed to have commercial space. We're still uh, working out exactly uh, the square footage of that, but uh, there will be commercial uh, in the ground floor area. And uh, the driveway access will be off McMillan Crescent. And uh, there'll be most of the parking will be in an underground parking garage with a few spaces uh, provided there at ground level. And we're also proposing landscaping along all of the property lines. Uh, this just provides a little bit more detail. Again, six stories, purpose-built rental building with ground floor commercial. The parking ratio that we're looking at is 0 0.8 spaces per unit. Um, we would be, Midnight Group is committed right now to, to providing 10% of the units as affordable units. So those would be units that would not have parking uh, attached to them and, and um, possibly some of the smaller units as well. So that's where the, the ratio comes from. 
Um, and then as mentioned, the private internal condominium road and the landscape buffer uh, as well along all the property lines. So again, very early in the process, these are not renderings. Uh, these are just sort of design inspiration uh, images that we just wanted to provide to give you an idea of what the project might look like. Um, so what they're looking at is a modern building with glass facades and contrasting panels. Uh, they're also looking to incorporate sustainable materials where possible and also provide landscaped areas, as mentioned, all along the, uh, the sides of the, the property and providing opportunities for, for passive recreation um, seating things like that. So to get into sort of the technical details of why we're here tonight is because we're requesting this zoning bylaw amendment from the existing uh, residential single detached dwelling first density to the mixed use corridor with the special provisions. Uh, and as the special provisions will be for a few site specific uh, amendments that are based on the specific design of the prop, prop, uh, project. Uh, and as mentioned earlier, the zoning proposed in the draft zoning bylaw would permit this project. It's just the we're currently under the existing zoning bylaw until that one is passed. And so that's why we're here with the zoning bylaw amendment. So I just wanted to go over the site specific provisions. This was the list from our pre-consultation review on the left. Uh, I know it's probably very difficult to read. A lot of these are actually will not be applicable in our uh, final submission. So I just wanted to go over the ones that we are currently considering. Uh, so one of them is uh, the amount of commercial area on the ground floor. The zoning does allow, uh, does require 50% of the ground floor area to be commercial. We're looking at a reduction in that amount. Um, we're also, uh, the side yard setback is an interesting one where it's a three meter maximum and we're looking at having a slightly larger setback than that. So hopefully that's something positive for the community. Uh, the parking ratio is a one to one, one space per unit requirement. So we're looking at 0.8 spaces per unit. Um, and yeah, those are those are the exceptions that we're looking at right now. Other uh, exceptions that were included in the original plans were uh, no longer pursuing. Uh, so this is a list of the required studies based on the feedback from the city's pre-consultation process. Uh, all of these are currently in process. I do not have any final reports or uh, you know findings to share, but, just to give you an idea of all of the studies that will be done and will be included with the submission packet. Uh, so we'll have a range of information about you know, shadow impacts, uh, the servicing, noise, stormwater management, traffic, parking, landscaping, et cetera. So there will be a full packet for review once we make that full submission. Uh, so just, you know, in, sort of in uh, conclusion that about the policy context, this is, Part of the city's built up area, it is along an arterial road. This The Young Street Corridor has been targeted for intensification and redevelopment. The lands are currently underutilized. They're, so they're zoned lower than even uh, properties. Um, so they're really underutilized given the location and the access to amenities and services. So uh, this apartment will provide much needed rental housing, including affordable units, as well as neighborhood serving commercial space. And as mentioned, we are developing updated plans, which will comply with all the required setbacks, the landscape buffers, angular plane requirements uh, to ensure that the proposed development fits in with the surrounding community. And then uh, just sort of a conclusion again about why it's for a proposed zoning bylaw amendment to allow a six story apartment building that matches what has been approved uh, on other properties along Young Street. And it's in line with the policy direction that we've received from the city of Barrie in their new official plan and also directions from the province uh, to provide more intensification where it's appropriate. So that is the presentation. So thank you so much. Uh, this is an email address if you wanted to contact uh, us at IPS with any questions. Um, but we look forward to hearing all of your comments um, and your questions. Um, and we'll be taking notes, as mentioned. And if we can't answer something today, we'll be sure to include it in our uh, in our final our full submission. Thank you.